Cashing in on Texas, locals are leaving our state, spending billions in gambling dollars elsewhere. It will be an uphill battle this session for a bill to bring casinos to Texas, even though our exclusive scientific survey shows a strong majority of Texans want them here. KXAN's political reporter Josh Hinkle has this in-depth preview. Yes, we'll have those results tonight at 6. We'll also tell you why lawmakers who oppose gambling still say no, even after seeing that number. Our poll also asked Texans if this should be something the legislature decides or you, the voter, on a ballot measure during an upcoming election. 76% of you said it should be in voters' hands. Tonight, we travel to neighboring Louisiana, a state with casinos. Find out where lawmakers there spend the money they rake in and why Texas might be missing out. But we also discover the concerns critics here in Texas have are a reality there from crime to gambling addiction because they bring people in and they help the economy and if you're stupid enough to waste all your money at the casino that's your problem <laughs> We also track the progress of the Texas casino bill over its decades-long fight and tell you the chances of it passing this year. Join us for this in-depth report tonight on KXAN News at 6. Josh Hinkle, KXAN News. Here in Texas, voters would ultimately make the final decision about casino gambling. Two-thirds of lawmakers would have to vote to place the measure on a November ballot. Then Texans would cast their own vote to actually change the state's constitution and allow casinos it's the heart of the argument among lobbyists on both sides. We're not asking a member of the legislature if they're for or against gambling or gaming expansion. We're asking them simply to let the people of Texas decide. If they're for it, they can campaign for the referendum. If they're against it, they can campaign against it. You know, so when you hear that argument, which by the way is the oldest trick around in this building, because how it plays itself out is, you know, uh, you know, a fancy lobbyist walks into a member's office and says, you don't have to be for it. I'm not even for it. But let the people decide. Keep in mind, Texas already has several forms of gam gaming, including the lottery, dog and horse racing, bingo, and one Indian casino. It's the Kickapoo Lucy Eagle Casino in Eagle Pass, about three hours south of Austin. It has electronic gaming, poker, and bingo. Beyond that, the casino's Bill's author says Texans are actually already gaming across the state illegally. His office reports 150,000 illegal eight-liners. They're similar to those video machines, but it's against the law when they pay out cash.